the scientific studies that I teach by the scientists that predict that the earth can be made essentially uninhabitable from nuclear war, the scientists have been begging the Obama administration, well, they wouldn't say begging, but they've made multiple requests to meet with them and discuss these predictions because they're peer-reviewed studies and they've been turned down over and over again. They've been peripherally told that, well, we don't think uh, the long-term environmental consequences of nuclear war are all that important if the immediate effects of nuclear war don't stop it. But the long-term environmental consequences of nuclear war are liable to wipe out the human race. In one exchange, nuclear exchange between the U.S. and China, what could be the consequences? Well, let me just give you an example of what one Chinese four or five megaton warhead would do to a city in the United States. If it got through, uh, the detonation of that weapon over a city would instantly ignite about six or seven hundred square miles on fire. And, and within 20 to 30 minutes, all of those fires would coalesce into a single gigantic firestorm. There would be no escape from it, so all the people there would perish. So the U.S. with, say, hundreds of nuclear weapons on Chinese cities. Well, when you combine all the smoke from these nuclear weapons detonating, it actually creates millions of tons of smoke, black carbon smoke, will rise above cloud level into the stratosphere. It's heated by the sun, it acts like a solar collector. And that smoke, because of that, will stay there for 10 years or longer. And what the smoke does is it blocks warming sunlight from reaching the surface of the earth. And it becomes so cold in a matter of just a couple of weeks that will, the temperatures will fall below freezing every day for one to three years. And it will become too cold to grow food crops for at least 10 years or longer.